Hi ladies, so I just did a video um, addressing the men and the strange women and I'm going to do this to address us so that we do not become strange women and if you are currently one that you will see the dangers in it. All right, um, I'm going to start here in Proverbs chapter 7. Same scripture I shared in the other video I'm going to share here. Proverbs chapter 7, 1 through 27. I read quickly. And while I'm reading, don't forget to like and to share and to subscribe to my channel. All right. My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live and my law as a apple, as the apple of thine eye. Bind them upon thy fingers, write them upon the table of thine heart. Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister and call understanding thy kinswoman, that they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger which flattereth with her words. For at the window of my house, I looked through my casement and beheld among the simple ones and beheld among the simple ones. I discern among the youths a young man void of understanding passing through the street near her near her corner. And he went the way of her house in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot and subtle in heart. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now she is without, now in the street, and lieth in wait at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him, and with an impudent face she said to him, I have peace offerings with me this day. I have paid my vows. Therefore came I forth to meet thee, diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works, with fine linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with loves. For the good man is not at home. He is gone a long journey. He hath taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the time appointed. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goeth after her straightway as an ox goeth to the slaughter or as a fool to the correction of the stocks. Till a dart strike through his liver as a bird hasteth to the snare and knoweth not that it is for his life. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thine heart decline to her ways, go not astray in her path, for she has cast down she has cast down many wounded, yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. Guys, women, late ladies, I'm going to tell you. If there's anybody that can bring down a man, it is a woman. God has created us in a way that we can, we see it all the time. You can see a big, tough, strong man and a woman walk in the room and just brings him under control. And it's not necessarily that she's forcing him, just simply by her presence, simply by her voice. And sometimes, guys, it's simply the fact that she has found a way into his heart, a woman can change the whole atmosphere, okay? The way God makes us, the way that we sound, the way that we move. But ladies, we have to realize that we have been created to be a help meet, help mate, be a help, not a hindrance. And what we have to realize, ladies, I have another video that you guys can find. It's called um, Women do not be a stumbling block. You will find that I have a very organized playlist and you'll be able to find it in there. You type it in, you look in my playlist, you might find that under um, sex. I have a, a playlist that's uh, called sex and sin and all of that type of stuff. You may find that there and it talks about that relationship, the different types of relationships. But women, we have to be very, very careful how we are. Even if you are married, the way that you conduct yourself. You see here, they, they have men, some men that is void of understanding. And what we have to always do, we're help me. And we're help me not only just, yes, to our husbands, to those of us who are married or those of you that's married, I'm not married, but any relationship that you're in, you are a help mate to that person, okay? So what you're going to do, we're a help mate to our brothers in Christ. So what that means is you are not gonna put yourself out there to be 
let me make this clear. When I say your helpmate, your helpmate to your spouse, that's who to him and to him only are you supposed to be submissive and submit yourself to him. But when I say helpmate, we're also supposed to be a helpmate to another man in the sense of not being in his life the way that you'll be with your husband or being in his face or being in his, his, his ear. But the fact that I will not allow you to fall, brother, I'm not going to be that one. So we have to be mindful of that. How is that going to happen? Well, it's going to go into Proverbs 31. You see, Proverbs 31, she rose up early in the morning to feed her family. A lot of times as women, we got to get up and get before God. You have to, we always have to put ourselves in a mirror, into God's mirror and see where our heart is at, where our mind is at. And so we will know the things that we need to change about ourselves, the situations that we need to avoid. Women, let me tell you something. One thing we have is a power of words. Our heart can be subtle if it is not, if, if we have not given our hearts completely to God, if we're not completely obeying him in every area, if we have not completely surrendered ourselves, we can become subtle. We can become cunning. We can become the one that can flatter men with our words. We can be the one that can lead a man astray. We can be the one that can bring the peace offerings, cause him to feel at peace with us than with his wife, cause him to feel at peace with us than with his significant other. And that is not what we are supposed to do. You see, the word of God tells us she comes and she diligently seek him. She is looking for him, you see. She was selling heart and she's looking for him. Some of you ladies, you know where to find that man that you're looking for. <laughs> Some of you join ministries because you know he's in that ministry. So now you're going to be in his face. Some of you join certain activities at work because you know you're going to see that man. Some of you know exactly what time he goes to lunch. Some of you knows what gym he goes to. So you put yourself there, okay? And you put yourself in places you know where he's going to be. You you know, you you scurry out to your car so you're right where he is. You can meet him. You set up situations so that you are in his crosshairs. What does that mean, ladies? That's when you're diligently seeking him out. You're looking for him. You're not keeping your foot in your own home. You are now seeking him out. You are diligently seeking him out. You're diligently texting that man. You're diligently texting that woman's husband. You're diligently in his ear talking to him all the time. You understand? So he's coming to you. You're giving him those peace offerings. Women, no, that is not what we're supposed to do. You see, what you do is now you've perfumed your bed with the spices and the myrrhs and the aloes and the cinnamon. Because now, see, because you've been talking to him and but you have a study of men or you understand certain things about him, you make the necessary adjustments so now he feels more comfortable with you. Women, we can't do that. We can't do that. Mm-hmm. Those of us who are single, what are we doing? Well, who's the good man? Who is is our father, our heavenly father? So what are we doing? Instead of keeping our foot in the house, keeping ourselves before God, we're scurrying and running behind men, run, running behind a man, run, running behind a woman's husband, mm -hmm. running behind someone else's significant other. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With her much fair speech, ladies, we have the ability to have fair speech. We know how to talk, we know how to put ourselves together, and you can cause that man to fall, to fall away from his wife. You that call yourself a friend, a female friend, ladies, we're not supposed to be so much up in any man's face. Why are you talking to him hours on end? As a woman, if you're truly a friend, you got to do a self-check and go, oh, scroll through your phone and see how much time is spent between you and that woman's husband, you and that man's, you and that other man that is in a serious relationship. How much of that time could he spend with her? How much of that time could he spend giving that to his lady? But you are all up and through that phone, talking to him from morning till night. He's the first thing, you're texting, you're whatever, you're meeting, you're talking, you're doing all this stuff. Sometimes, lady, you got to hear the word of God. Don't let your evil be, your good be evil spoken of. Listen, I can't spend all my time with you. 
I have male friends. I've had male friends. But guess what? You know, I have male friends. Me and him, we'll talk and chat and Skype all day. That's just my boy. That's my buddy. We are nothing more. But guess what? Once he got a girlfriend, we can't be like that no more. And I sure can't be texting and talking to him all the time like that anymore. I check on him and be like, hey, how you doing? How's your girlfriend? How's your fiance doing? Everything. I'm her friend too. I'm going to talk to her. There's no more just talking and, and I can't be talking and helping him to strategize how to hurt her or how to counter her. No, ladies. No. That's not what we do. You have not included them in her, in the relationship, including her in the situation. You must use wisdom. We must use wisdom and discretion and understanding, even as friends, right? So we don't cause this man to be led astray. You see, sometimes he may not sleep with you, but he's sleeping with you. Sometimes he may not be physically sleeping with you, but he's sleeping with you. When you sleep with another person, you're comfortable, right? You're comfortable. So sometimes he's sleeping with you that way. He's comfortable. You are his first source for everything before her. That is not what we're there for. We're not there to be the other woman. No matter what, no matter how terrible and awful his wife is, he has not left her, has he? Right? And don't get it twisted. I have another video that is called Friends of the Opposite Sex. Oh, no. I think I called it um, He Loves His Wife. He Loves Me, Not His Wife. You can check that out. It talks about just those situations where he's telling you all this stuff about his wife, but he's been married to her forever. And one thing you know is the fact that he will cheat when he's not happy. You already see a character flaw in him. That he's going to cheat when he is not happy. It's not justified in that. What happens when you don't make him happy? You understand? But this video is not about that, guys. Ladies, it is about us stepping it up. Getting out of these little uh, half-baked, half-bit apple mindset. <laughs> when you are willing to be in the background in another woman's man's life when you know he has a lady and you just in the background going on ladies you're playing a supporting role she's the leading actress you are playing a supporting role you there you're the understudy you're there studying and you're trying to do your part in case and something happened or waiting for something to happen ladies you are nothing but the landfill this is where he comes to 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 discuss and to, to air out and, and to vent to you, but he's not going to leave her. He may come to you to work off some stress and to, to get his release from her in you, on you, through you, and sweat on you, but he ain't going nowhere. You feel that? Don't be the landfill. Don't be the dumping ground. Don't be the toilet bowl where he comes to... to secrete his waste his frustrations and he's gone he's gone everywhere else don't nobody think about the bathroom do you think about your bathroom so it's time to clean it oh but no one's thinking about the bathroom you go and you you spend time in the living room the the other parts of the house you're in the foyer you're upstairs you're downstairs and oh, oh there's an urge i gotta go then you go to the bathroom don't be that ladies don't be what I call the stunt double. The real person's not going to, uh-uh, oh, I'm not going to be in that. I'm not going to jump off that building, but you're going to jump off that building. You understand? You're the stunt double. He'll do that scene with you. <laughs> you understand that? You're the stunt double, but he's going back to the leading act. Yes, yeah, she's the leading act. He hasn't left her, has he? Don't be the crash test dummy. I have that. I have a series that's called uh, Making Biscuits and Giving Up the Biscuits. Something about us, ladies. You can check that out. Stunt doubles. What are, are the crash test dummy? They put them in the car and the, the car crashes in the wall and they keep crashing and putting a crash test dummy in that until they figure out all the flaws of the car. And then guess what? They sell it on the showroom for the buyer. Mm-hmm. 
because now that car is has been tested many times to now be safe, safe for that buyer. But you've been a crash test dummy. You're the one with all the patches on you and looking crazy, just like how crash test dummies look. Ladies, that's not what we're created for. We've been fearfully and wonderfully made. There's an absolute purpose for us. Do not invest your time and your heart in a person that does not belong to you. Do not cause a man to go astray. And even if you, he is single, we're always supposed to be in a place to bring that man closer to God, to be a help meet. We don't help that man or entice that man that he wants to go off and have sexual relations with us. And we cause that man to fornicate and to do different things. We want that man to be everything that he needs to be. If he's meant to be a husband, let's do things the right way so that he will. Lead, you guys will both lead each other in the right path so God can lead you and bring you to the place that you need to be. If you're the other woman, that's, here's a key term. You're the other woman. Other one. You're the other one. Mm. There's no description to that. If you look on a questionnaire, sometimes they ask you for your race or they ask a question. Black, white, Asian, Hispanic, what other? Other. That's, that's the, that's the, that, that's the miscellaneous box. Don't be miscellaneous. Understand your power. Understand what we are as women. Get before the Lord. Repent of any mistakes that you have made, ladies. We make mistakes. We have all done it. I've done it. We have all made mistakes. But know that Jesus loves you and get the proper picture of who you are in him. Let him make you up. Let him clean your heart out so you can be who you need to be to the right man, your own man. So you can be who you need to be to your husband in spite of the fact that he's turned aside and he's done certain things. If he is for you and, and, and you know, outside of physical abuse, because I can't talk on that. I don't encourage people to, oh, let him beat you in Jesus' name. I don't think so, okay? But outside of that, allow the Lord to create in you a clean heart and renew a right spirit within you and you'll see that you are beautiful you are beautiful ladies let him transform you and let him take you on your way it's not too late you're not too dirty you haven't gone too far <laughs> when the adulterous woman was brought before him and when the woman that had been with a whole bunch of people came before him god and they wanted to stone her God said, who's without sin? Cast the first stone. And then everybody left them. But what he said to them is go and sin no more. Go and sin no more, ladies. You're going to cry. You're going to miss him. But that's an illusion. That stuff that you have with that man, especially if he's not your man, is not real. Get out of that man. Stop texting him and talking to him every morning. Text and talk to your husband every morning. If you don't have a husband, stop being, stop being somebody else's wife. Leave that space and that time for them. Let that man turn his attention to his wife. Let him inbox her and conversate with her. Because no matter what you're doing, guys, remember, even if you think it's in secret, the heavens sees what you're doing. And you're writing your own story. You're setting your own path for either good or for destruction. All right, guys, this video has gone on a lot longer. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Be encouraged. If you have questions, I will have an email link here inside this email. Don't text me no foolishness because I'm not going to read it. So meaning it needs to be respectful and not you inboxing me or trying to email me with why your stuff is different. If you feel like your situation is different, then keep doing what you're doing. You don't need to ask me anything. All right. All right, guys, again, don't forget to like and to share like share and to subscribe to my channel you have a wonderful wonderful day be encouraged and goodbye <laughs>